Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Truly grateful. So many channels you could be watching. You're watching mine. Eight million people couldn't be wrong. Philippines is paradise. I got this idea because every day people ask me, why the Philippines? And I say, why not? The last numbers that have been calculated was 8.2 million visitors and expats coming into the Philippines every year. And that figure was growing in leaps and bounds. About one out of ten of those people never leave. And they choose the Philippines over London, over Paris, Las Vegas, Stockholm, Sweden, and all the top places around the world that they could live. A poll was done. 40% of American corporations doing business in the Philippines. No, not 40%. 40% of the employees of American companies doing business in the Philippines wanted to relocate over here. That's amazing. And of the people who did relocate over here, 100% satisfaction. So I'm giving a shout out, a challenge to the passport bros to come over here and check out the Philippines. You won't be disappointed. It's not Brazil. It's not the DR. It's not Colombia or Panama. It's the Philippines. We're here in the Bay Hotel, courtesy of one of my subscribers, Mr. Mark Mack. That's all I say to keep his privacy give Marilyn a chance to relax give a break from booby it's a really nice place he bought his family well his wife and then her two sons and a wife here but yeah this is a paradise by any stretch of the imagination and I'm going to prove it to you. Let me put this disclaimer out there. Paradise is in the eyes of the beholder. One man's trash may be one man's treasure. I can only speak for myself. From the moment I arrived in the Philippines it was as if someone handed me a VIP card. I instantly became a high value man, even though back then I didn't know what a high value man was. The fact that some people here think that all foreigners are rich isn't a bad thing if you know how to conduct yourself. It's funny how people everywhere would treat someone with money or someone who they think has money better than someone who doesn't. My experience here has been nothing short of spectacular. I'm actually given the benefit of the doubt here. People see something good in me rather than something bad. My money goes much further over here. It's as if I've been awakened from a nightmare, which was my old life, and stepping into my dreams, which is my new life. I found a piece of heaven, and I'm going to hold on to it. Is it a second chance? No, I don't call it a second chance. I call it an awakening. I'm seeing life through different eyes. I found an environment where I can reach my potential. One of my favorite books is by Dorothea Brand, and it's called Wake Up and Live. And in the book, she asked the question, 
what would I be doing in life if it were impossible to fail? Today, I can answer that question. I'm in the Philippines, living a manner of life that I never knew existed. I feel that my life has meaning and purpose and that I'm going somewhere, that everything that I'm doing is not in vain. I'm not spinning my wheels. I think differently. I act differently. It's like I'm a new creature. It's like magic. It's as if someone flipped a switch and now I'm the guy that I always dreamed of being. Eight million people can't be wrong. The Philippines is a paradise. And remember, paradise is in the eyes of the beholder. What may be one man's trash may be another man's treasure. I'm not paid to do these videos. I don't work for the Department of Tourism. But what I'm trying to do is pay it forward to give somebody some hope. This isn't a motivational speech and I'm not selling dreams. I'm not floating on some pink cloud and I'm not drunk. I'm sharing with you what has happened to me in a matter of a few short years. I went from being mentally and spiritually broke to a man on a mission. My best days lie ahead of me and there's no goal beyond my reach if I put my mind to it. Paradise is in the eyes of the beholder. Eight million people can't be wrong. The Philippines is a paradise. It turned out to be a godsend for me. Was it a second chance? No, it was an awakening. I'm seeing the world through fresh eyes. I'm going to throw out this challenge to the passport bros to come a little further. To get you some more frequent flyer miles and come to the Philippines. Being treated like a king takes some getting used to. But if I can do it, so can you. I could spend the rest of my life on one of these lovely beaches with a lovely woman by my side and not regret one minute. The Philippines is a paradise and I'm not going anywhere soon. So thank you for stopping by today. If you're in America, it's early. You're at work. You're at the gym. You're on your way home. If you see somebody in the street or wherever you see them, buy them something to eat, buy them something to drink, give them a few dollars. If you're in the Philippines, it's midnight already. It's 10 p.m. I hope you're able to help somebody. Now, the day goes by that I don't help somebody over here because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. When we help other people, we help ourselves. Take care, stay safe, stay COVID free, and I'll see you next time.